we were there for a normal consistory meeting where before the Pope canonizes new saints, he calls all of us, cardinals, bishops around, and says, this is their life. Do you vote in favor of canonization or do you not? We got the papers long before. And when we concluded that, we were about to get the blessing. And he said, please sit down. I have something to say <laughs> important for the church. So it was for us a surprise, like thunder that gives no notice that it's coming. As he moved on, from what he was saying as the, the introduction, I began to fear that that's what he would come to. The cardinals, each one looked at the other in silence, in surprise, but it was clear what he said. At the end, there was silence. Then the Cardinal Dean got up and spoke. Obviously, he was hinted before because he had written what he said, Cardinal Sodano, and he said our mind. We are surprised. We love you, Holy Father. We are near you. We know you have done this because of your love for the church. And we will stand near you and we will do our best for the church. I haven't any doubt about his wisdom. I have known him for more years to have any doubt at all. He doesn't rush. He is not rash. He is gentle, but he's also clear-headed and firm. So it could not have been an idea he got the day before. If anybody is confused, the problem is on the side of that person, not on the side of the Pope. Very clear on the side of Pope Benedict, he says, 28th February at 8 o'clock, I shall resign from Bishop of Rome and successor of St. Peter. The church will find another one. And God is always there. The Holy Spirit does not go on holidays. So, there will be another Pope. He will be elected in two weeks or so. There is no danger that Pope Benedict will become a problem for that Pope. Certainly not. Perhaps if he were a politician who was removed by maneuvers, <laughs> perhaps the, the successor would be afraid. In this case, not so. For some people may be so shaken that it may change their perception. But my hope and prayer is it will help many to get more mature in our faith. Our faith is not on the Pope, is on Christ, who is the foundation of the church. Christ is the same yesterday, today, and the same forever. We all are servants. We come and go. Christ doesn't come and go. He stays on. Without Christ, the church has no more meaning. But the Pope is a servant. Indeed, one of his titles is servant of the servants of God. He is not there for himself or self-glory. So his act yesterday was like saying, I am a servant. I think another servant should come on. Very good for the church and very noble of him. So this event can help all of us to be deeper in our faith, to be also more, let us say, less sentimental. Sentiment is not a bad thing, but people can overdo it. Some go to area of liking, I like. I like this one, I like the face, I like the style of this one. <laughs> all popes will not have the same face, all popes will not have the same style, Mm, of course, but John Paul II, blessed, is not the same as Paul VI, and he's not the same as Pius XII, and he's not the same as John XXIII, blessed, but all of them are successors of St. Peter. So my faith strengthens me in this church. So this event can become for all of us strengthening and purification in our faith. It's very important. So Pope Benedict may be teaching us many more things than we realize.